While CES 2024 is not technically an auto show, the automotive industry makes up a giant part of the show's footprint. More than 600 exhibitors are here from the automotive space, including manufacturers, suppliers, startup companies, and more. Hyundai Mobis debuted their new Mobion electric vehicle with its next generation e corner system motion technology. It enables the car to make sideways and diagonal motion, as well as pivot turns. Wow! I'm told each of the four wheels are individually controlled. Honda showed off two new concept vehicles, the Space Hub and the Saloon. The Japanese automaker announced it will launch the Honda Zero series beginning in 2026. The Saloon is being called the flagship concept model of the new Honda Zero series. It embodies the new thin, light, and wise approach. On the inside is an instrument panel with a human-machine interface for a seamless user interface. The saloon features a low height and sporty styling. Meanwhile, the space hub was developed under the theme of augmenting people's daily lives. It offers a flexible space that accommodates what users want to do and becomes a hub that connects people to people and society. Mullen introduced its 5RS High Performance Sporty Crossover EV. It comes equipped with a 100 kilowatt per hour battery pack and a two-speed gearbox. The 5RS will achieve more than 1,000 horsepower and a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. Pricing for the 5RS will start just under $300,000. Mercedes-Benz unveiled the North American premiere of the Concept CLA class vehicle. It displays the forthcoming Mercedes-Benz modular architecture and new in-car music experience called MBUX Sound Drive. That comes with cool apps like Audible and Amazon Music. The MBUX virtual assistant transforms the car driver relationship with both AI and advanced 3D graphics. Tires have always been a vehicle's only connection to the road. Tire manufacturer Goodyear told me about their new EV tires for the Tesla Cybertruck and their new Sightline suite of tire intelligence technologies. So what we're showcasing today is uh, a new generation tire, which is intelligent tires. This is one of the tires we have on the Tesla Cybertruck. Uh, it's got inbuilt sensors, uh, like a TPMS system. In this case, it's mounted inside the tire, so we're able to provide information about the tire temperature, tire identification. Now, all of this is essentially then useful for next generation uh, advancements you could make on the vehicle chassis control systems. We move on to tire wear, where we are calculating and predicting what's the remaining tread on the tire, and also predicting what's the remaining mileage. It's almost like a you've got a fuel gauge, now you've got a tire gauge. This is useful for customers because they essentially can anticipate when next they need to change tires on the car. As a tire manufacturer, this is good for us because we know which customers need new tires, when do they need them potentially, we can make sure we've got the correct inventory available at our dealerships. Moving on, the tire sensor enables also detection of abnormal anomalous wear conditions you know we often have scenarios where you go through a pothole and you pick up a, a bulge in the tire for instance so we're able to detect those conditions inform the driver you can have your tire serviced in that case Vietnamese automaker VinFast took the wraps off their new electric truck concept called the VF Wild it is a mid-sized truck with a power folding mid-gate to expand the bed length from 5 feet to 8 feet when the rear seats are folded down. The VF Wild also has a panoramic glass roof and digital side mirrors. No info on battery size or range were provided at CES. Mitsubishi Electric introduced me to Flex Connect, powered by BlackBerry which is introducing AI or artificial intelligence into vehicles. It's all about improving safety with the use of sensors and cameras to anticipate safety risk, reduce driver distractions, and enable new customer experiences.
This is Flex Connect, our latest project at CES. Our uh, camera is capable of detecting um, seat belts. If you're drowsy, who's sitting in the car, it's doing uh, facial recognition. So you can mm. see the bounding box going um, around our faces. And we have the seat belt uh, detection. So if we wear the seat belt, it will become green. So, you know, a lot of people sometimes put their seat belt behind themselves yeah. right, instead of having it on. So and then the seatbelt sensors detects, oh, the seatbelt is on, but it's not really on, mm -hmm. correct? So this way the camera can uh, detect that, oh, it's actually on or not. And then a lot of people uh, also print some like 3D things to just put inside the seatbelt. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, you can uh, overcome that um, as well with this. Mm -hmm. Basically what this is doing is we have near infrared uh, lasers in front of the car uh, pointed down at the road. Okay. and those are able to detect uh, the weather related condition of the road so if there's ice on the road if there's snow on the road if the road is wet or dry it is able to detect that and then with the camera uh, front facing camera it combines that with this uh, augmented reality um, mm -hmm. carpet overlay and is showing you the slip and grip levels oh. on the road yeah. right and so this is able to, from the lasers in front of the car it can do detection up to 50 meters in front of you but uh, on the other hand if uh, you have cloud connectivity this feature is also available through cloud so if a car has previously already driven down that road and is able to share data with other cars you'll also be able to see that data on the map over here so you know based on this you can plan your route ahead if you see that a certain route has a lot of black ice or a lot yeah. of snow you know you can probably uh, change that uh, navigation and try to take a more safer route we also have generative ai in our car oh. so our assistant is equipped with generative ai so instead of giving it like proper commands you can talk to it in like a natural language okay. and you can give it more complicated commands than you could earlier so for example hey flex connect Take me to Starbucks, then a gas station, and then Little Caesars Arena. So as you can see, I could give it like multiple stops at the same time. Mm. I could possibly even add, um, you know, a time timer to that, that okay, I need to reach by this, this, this time. And it will automatically create that smart, smart itinerary for mm. me. And then at the same time, we also have a feature called proactive parking. So since I added Little Caesars Arena, which is, I'm probably gonna face parking uh, problems over there mm -hmm. so it is detected that it's giving me a parking alert like okay you're going to this uh, area with limited parking do you want to reserve a spot so i can do that right from here uh, showing me the little caesar's uh, garage will show me the distance and the price for that oh. and how many spaces are available right now and i can just go ahead select how much time i want to book my parking for and then i can just pay it right from the system over here and start my navigation over there so we've added an instance of the facial recognition even to the camera at the back balance myself and do a dance maybe i'm wearing heels right and so instead of doing all of that i can just okay there you go <laughs> yeah so i don't need to do the balancing thing and yeah, since it recognizes my face and it knows that I'm a registered driver so I don't have to be worried about other people coming and doing my secret passport and opening the trunk and uh... Today we're going to introduce you to Algae Alcohol, our concept card that focuses on the quality of time to deliver which will then to elevate our passenger's experience both inside and outside the vehicle. Now, LG Alpha will consist of three customer experience themes we develop based on our comprehensive research aimed at making everything possible around the vehicle. They're transportable, explorable, and relaxable. Now, first and foremost, transformable experience defines mobility as a personalized or private space which can be transformed according to a passenger's needs. Next is the explorable experience. In the future, mobility will understand the context of each journey and our preferences, allowing us to have more enriched and delightful experiences. And last but not least, is the relaxable experience. Imagine a car caring for our physical and mental well-being, ensuring them to be in their best conditions.
stay with America JR for more coverage from CES 2024. I'm Jason Residlo, reporting from the Las Vegas Convention Center.